guys, how's it going? It's Amanda. So today we're back with tech under $250. So this is a higher price point than we've done recently, but some of you have a little more money to spend or you just have that tech lover in your life and you really wanna treat them right. So the first item on today's list comes in at $250. This is the BenQ e-reader lamp. Yes, e-reading. It's designed to help reduce eye strain and provide the perfect ambient lighting while you're using all of your e-devices such as your screens, your tablets, your computer screens, any of those things. So the first thing that you're gonna notice is this thing is just beautiful. I have the silver model here and the top up there is going to determine what color you have. The rest of it's all gonna be white, but then the cord that you can see through here, which is a very nice nylon braided cord, it's gonna be designed the same color as the top. So if you have the blue one, the cord's gonna be blue running through there as well, but the base is always gonna be white. So all these different joints are bendy and flexible and the top up here even has a ball mount. So you can tilt it from side to side, go all the way back, go down, go forward. You can just find that perfect lighting zone to hit the spot where you need the extra lighting. Controlling this light couldn't be any easier. You just take your finger and press it on the top up here and that's gonna set your light to on. Now, if you press and hold a second time, you see the green light come on and that has set the perfect color temperature and lighting brightness. So if you wanna manually override that, you can make it warmer or cooler by grabbing the knob. And if you give it another press, you can turn the brightness up and down as well. So there's just two modes there you can switch through. And this thing you can touch anywhere on here, anywhere on this little metal circle and it will work and activate your light to on or off. Even if you wanna do it fancy. I just think this is one of the best looking lamps or desk lamps I've ever seen in my life. And you guys know BenQ, you know the quality of products they make. So $250, it's a bit of an investment. Some of the things that you need to note though, that it has flicker-free technology built in, so it's gonna reduce eye strain. And these LEDs are rated to last over 50,000 hours. So if you're running this eight hours a day, it's supposed to last 17 years. This does come with a heavy duty weighted base, but if you overextend it, you can kind of tip it. But if you don't like this base taking up so much space, they do have accessories such as a clamp or even a floor stand for it. The next item is the Nanoleaf Aurora LED panels up here. Now you can conform these in any shape you want. You just get these little triangle shapes and you design your shape and stick them up. There's little connectors that come in. If you guys want a full review, let me know. But I picked this up on Black Friday, actually Thanksgiving day, and I'm absolutely in love with it. Now I'm gonna go through this really fast because if I just press these presets, it comes in at full brightness until I adjust it, so it's gonna really hurt your eyes. But if we lower it down here, you can see they are very nice to look at and there's so much customization you can do. Again, if you want a full in-depth video where I show everything, please drop a comment down below and let me know. The starter kit for this comes with nine of these panels and it's gonna depend on how many you need based on what shape you're gonna make. You can pick up extra panels. They come in packs of three. I believe they're $60 each. And at first I bought several extras and then I decided on this design and stuck with it and returned my extras. But it works with Siri and HomeKit, so that is one great thing. I do have a hard time having Siri recognize when I say Aurora, but it does work with Siri. You can just tell her to turn on the light. But if you don't have any internet, your internet shut off, or you don't have your phone near you, you can go over and press the buttons on here and flip through the preset modes and even turn it off. Incoming soon, it's going to be able to connect with Amazon Alexa. Next up, we have the UE Boom 2. I have the green and blue color here, but depending on which color you get, you can pick this up from around 179 to 199, and it's one of the top rated speakers in this price point. Now the two brings in the functionality to pair up two of these to have dual surround. Now this already has 360 degree sound coming all the way around the speaker, but it's not only that, it's waterproof and shockproof as well. So here's a quick audio sample. They also have an app you can download and tweak some of the settings and the equalizer and just a great all around speaker to have with you at any time. So the next item you don't normally see because it's hidden away in the console, which is underneath my TV. And inside of there, I've got my Synology NAS, my Logitech 
a Harmony Hub, my Xbox One, and just some little things that are tucked away. But I wanted to test this out quite a bit before I shared my thoughts because it had really negative reviews. Many people weren't happy with it, so I didn't want to give it the okay until I tested it quite well. But before I set this up, I did all my internet speed tests just to kind of see if I found any differences. And actually they were quite significant. I ran this test multiple times and every time I'm supposed to be getting 10 megabytes per second up and 10 megabytes per second down. Now I had to pay $100 a month for that and I guess that's the fastest available in my area. But whenever I installed the new one, I was consistently getting nine up and nine down. So significant changes, I'm absolutely happy with it and it's only a $150 router and it just looks fantastic. The very last item I have for you guys today is the HP Stream 14. Now I've got a full dedicated review for this and Tooth be told, I can't find the charger right now to show you all the little details, but I'm gonna go ahead and link the video up in the cards and the annotations, you can check this out. But it's a $219 laptop, it's got an HDMI out, it's got USB ports, three USB ports, it's got a headphone jack, an SD card slot, and for $219, it's a great starter computer for somebody, or just someone who needs basic computing needs and wants something that's light and relatively nice looking to take along with them on the go. So guys, that wraps it up for today's video. Leave a comment down below, let me know what your favorite product was or which one you may be picking up or eyeing for yourself. If you enjoyed the video, hit that thumbs up button, subscribe if you're new to the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next one.